Well, hello, and how is everybody today on this wonderful Wednesday? It was raining here, and then it was sunny, and now it's getting dull again, but I made it home just in time. I want to share with you what I got from Meyer. Um, I wanted to make some tacos. I did go to McAllister's for lunch, and I got their Southwest chicken avocado sandwich. It was really, really good. However, since I had never been in there before, the next time I go, I'm going to order the half sandwich and whatever but it was really really good and their potato salad and they gave me this large like usually they'll ask most places if you want large or medium they just gave me this soda i think my order was like 15 dollars. it was definitely worth it and i will go back i wanted to share with you i have not done nail stamping in a while on here and as you can see this look right here is coming off um i did this a few days ago i like to do um a white polish and i put a um frosty on top i'll share with you what that was okay i did a mixture of these two whites this one is wisp by sinful colors and this one is eyes white open by kb shimmer and then i like to top it with one of my frosty polishes this one right here is one this is the some girls prefer pearls um the morgan taylor maryland collection i really like that a lot and that just kind of gives that frosty i don't like white on me because it's such a stark color i seem to love white manicures on other people i just don't like them on me i tend to go for a more off-white but i really do like this look i think it's like it puts me in the mind of that blue and white china, which is what I was going for. Um, but then I started looking at these plates because the one that I use is a porcelain plate um, by Moyu London, but it's not this one. But I wanted to share this with you guys. I was looking at some of these images and I feel like this one would make a good one. Um, and then maybe perhaps I was thinking this bird here would make a good one. Um, because I do like the look, but my nails are so short right now, I feel like I need something a little bit more intricate. So what I'm going to use tonight, and y'all tell me what y'all think, I'm going to use this one. Since I'm going to use the plate, I'm going to go ahead and try to pull that blue film off. So see, like, any of these areas in here is perfect for this. And this right here, if I had a little bit more nail room um, and this, but I'm going to use this plate because a lot of times for a short nail look, you really need something more intricate. So since I'm going to use this, I'm going to pull this film off and see if you can see it any better. And then we're going to share with you what I got from Meyer. So here's what it looks like a little bit better. I hope that you can see that. You see how detailed that is? I do want to go for this house down here, a piece of that lower level. Um, I want to go for this upper part and the bird. Like you can take this whole section here or this section over here and do a whole look. I really love this plate when I got it from Maniology. And y'all know that a few years ago, I bought those um, light blue plates with the silver and the gray. And I wanna try a look like that. But like I said, my nails are so short. Um, I just wanna try and see, but that's what I'm gonna be doing this evening. And we're gonna share with you what I got. Spoiler alert, guys. I went out looking for those blueberry almonds. They did not have any. And if y'all remember the Tabitha Brown salt and vinegar cashews, because I love those so much, I was trying to see if I could find some salt and vinegar cashews, and that was a no-go as well. So the first things I will go ahead and share are the things I know I need to get into the refrigerator. I was going to go ahead and get some lettuce, and then I decided to look for shredded lettuce, and lo and behold, it is a thing. And I know I'll have to use this. My intent was to make the tacos tonight, which is kind of what I wanted to do. And I'm really glad that I went into McAllister's and ate first, because y'all know how I do when I go into these stores hungry. So as you can tell, I have a couple packages of meat here, which is probably far more than I've ever shared before. So I did go ahead and get the shredded lettuce. I got some tomato. I got the mild taco sauce. I already had taco seasoning here at home. And then I got sour cream because I love sour cream on my tacos. And then I got a bottle of hot sauce and that's just because I needed it. I don't put this in my tacos at all. So I did get the Ortega taco shells. These are a little bit different. I haven't 
bought items to make tacos in quite a few years. Um, so they had the white corn shells. I did not see the regular corn shells. And I noticed that, if I'm saying it right, the ones in the yellow box, if it's old El Paso, they had the nacho flavored shells. And I did get some of those um, years ago when my 24 year old was about three or four. That may have been the very last time I made tacos. So it'll be the first time I'm making them here in this apartment. Those were really good. They were the kind that stood up on their own. And I noticed they have quite a few more additions to um, these taco shell lineups. They had something that had a specific name and it looked like a tray, but it was a taco shell. They had the blue corn taco shells and other different taco shells, which I may try when I go out again. And I couldn't decide if I wanted the soft or the hard. And I usually just go for these hard ones. And like I said, I got this sour cream. It's my first time purchasing the sour cream in the stand-up container. I got the Mexican cheese. A lot of times I'll just use the same cheese that I use for my eggs. And I got a small container of ground beef. And I wanted to fry some chicken eventually. So I got this. I was looking for chicken thighs or um, chicken breast fillets. And as you know, those are hard to find. So I went ahead and got the chicken thighs. I hope there's like six in here. I can't really tell. I just don't want it to be big giant thighs. And then they had one lone Main Street Bistro macaroni and cheese. I ended up liking. This is the one that I liked a lot more better than the Bob Evans one because that one turned out less runny this last time that I made it but I still had to put cheese in it this one here was actually good from just heating it up it was almost like homemade as close as you can get for something that's not homemade I did pick up some snacks and these are going out of town I did get myself one of these um, Oreo popcorns and I got one for my friend and then I also got her the M&M as you know, I said that I would get her these as they came about. They did have the Nutter Butter, but I did not pick it up. They also had the Snickers this time, guys, and they had it in abundance. And this right here with me talking to Miss Posh Product Junkie today, we were talking about um, a snack. Oh, the dill chips. I was mentioning how before um, the pickle dill chips were a thing, um, and this was been years ago, like back in 79, I was like 12. My little brother used to buy jars of dill pickles, and he would pour the juice into his wavy potato chips, and it actually tasted good. And we were sharing that story, and she mentioned this popcorn, and it made me think nostalgically that I would get some today. So I got some today. And then... I found peanut oil when I wasn't looking for it, and I found Crisco. Now, I also did not get to get the cornflakes. I wanted to get a box of cornflakes and some banana because I like to eat that sometimes, but I mainly wanted to take a handful and a half of some cornflakes, and I want to put that in my chicken flour. So I did want that as a double purpose, but they didn't have it, so I'll be going back out to the store on Monday. I got these for my work bag. I think I have the pill chewables. I have almost every form, guys, of Pepto-Bismol. Um, even the pills that you swallow orally. But I thought this would be nice to put into my work bag. And I also need to get some Tums small enough to put into my work bag. I did find this. I haven't been able to find this since I purchased the one that I shared with you all. This is the emollient one. Um, and I really do like this. A lot of times in the wintertime, I will put on whatever lotion I'm putting on after my bath at night for bed. And then I'll put this on top of it. It doesn't really have a scent. Um, and even though it's hot outside, I do find that my skin gets dry sometimes now. And I will put this on. Um, after putting on whatever lotion I'm going to put on, it never really interferes with it or anything like that. I do consider it a basic staple. They had two. I wanted to get the second one so bad, but I still have some of my other one. And that one lasted long enough that I can take the space in between. But if I see two again, even down the road, I will go ahead and get them. But I placed a couple orders today. I placed a Bath & Body Works order. Scott shared a coupon with me. I didn't get to use it today because you know how they do when they only give you one code. Um, so I placed a Bath & Body Works order. I placed a Pandora order, guys, for four charms. And I placed another order. I think that coffee maker from Kohl's that I can take to work. So I needed to slow down because we don't even get paid until tomorrow. I did see this right here, and y'all know that I have fallen in love with Bubble Tea Talk here. 
And I have mentioned that my favorite tea from them right now, now that I've been going in there for a while, is the taro with the yogurt popping boba and the tea with the yogurt popping boba. So I thought I would try these. Now, if the boba in here is not popping and it says tapioca pearls, now that I'm looking at it, it says tapioca pearls. I didn't like those um, from Bubble Tea Talk because they were like chewing unflavored wax. So we're gonna see what these do, but I did wanna try this drink when I saw that they had them available. And what I'll be doing is I'll be taking these to work. I forgot to look for a pepperoni tray, but I don't think they had any. I passed by there and all I saw was the rather, rather large ones. So I did get some chopped green chilies. Anytime I'm making tacos, in addition to the taco seasoning in my meat, I chop up onion. And I will generally use a can, and that'll be a whole can. I just got these because I got the small ground beef. But I will generally use the refried beans that are spicy or the refried beans with the green chili. So now that I'm looking at this, guys, I'm looking at this wrong because guess what? My other one says the same thing, so I'm thinking these are separate. So what I need to do, I won't be making my tacos tonight now. I'll hold those off until I go to the store tomorrow. I need an actual can of refried beans. <laughs> so to back up what I'm saying, let me back myself up. I generally will use the chopped or the ones with chilies in them or the spicy. I've taken a pain pill for some pain because I hurt myself yesterday, guys, and I feel loopy as I don't know what, but I'm trying to be clear. But yes, I will go to the store, and in the state that I'm feeling I'm in right now, I don't think I'm going to be turning on the stove. So I will go to the store tomorrow and get my refried beans, but I do like to add the ground beef, onion, and my refried beans of choice. And usually when I'm doing that, I don't drain the taco meat because normally I would but those refried beans and all that soaks it up and I really love that as my taco base and then we add everything else to it I got this little travel toothbrush here to put into my work bag since I'm working night shift and I went ahead and got some Eggo pancakes I love these and I love the blueberry ones I found because I got those by accident I really do like those a lot and we have a little bit more to share with you after I put this up Y'all want to know what I don't want to do that I almost did? Put the taco shells in the freezer and the pancakes up in the cabinet. <laughs> so I do believe the last two things that I got here are these pretzel crackers that I really enjoy. I want to get some cheese cuts to go with that. And I got another um, box of my Blasto butter because I'm on my last container. And I do think that's it, y'all. That's all that I got. I just wanted to share that with you, but I need to sit down somewhere let this medication run its course and that's why guys i don't take that mess like it says i think when they give you those my bottles have always said take three times a day i never do because if i'm feeling like i feel right now and i took that mess three times a day i'd be knocked out and loopy as i don't know what i generally will take one at night and that's it but i was hurting so bad so as long as this pain stays subsided i will reach for my 600 milligram motrin <laughs> for tonight and let that go but until the next time, I hope you all have a fantastic Wednesday. I hope everything's going good for you guys. And I will see you in the next one.